So now that we're back in the interface, I'd like to take a look at how to use the toolbars. There are a number of items that are in the toolbar when you start Acrobat. I'd like to indicate what we can do with these different tools and how we can turn them on and personalize them as well for our own usage. Up along the top area, you can see that there are a number of pull-down menus, each of which has additional content inside. So for instance, if I click on Create, it will show me a number of options that I can do inside of there. If I click on Forms, you can see that there are a number of options that I can do in there. We'll be looking at some of these things in detail later on in the program. But for now, understand that those things are there and that we'll be referring to them during the course of the program. The next line down has a number of common activities that you'll be doing, such as opening a PDF, that folder right there, if you click it, it will open a PDF. We can print the PDF. If we've made changes to the PDF, we can save the PDF. In this case, we haven't made any changes. We can also send the PDF by email to someone. We can navigate PDF using these buttons right here. And we also have some tools and we'll see what each of these tools does momentarily. The first thing I'd like to do here is to show you that these tools, if you don't like these tools, you can change these tools to be your tools. If you right click or control click, if you have a Macintosh, then you'll see that there are a number of tools that are available. Some of them are turned on. For instance, file and find and page display and page navigation are all showing up now. We can add to them, for instance, if I wanted to add comment and markup, then if I turn that on, then my comment and markup tools will show. And I can put them away simply by turning them off. Try that yourself. Just right click in the bar, pull down to comment and markup, and there it is. If you'd like to keep that around, all you've got to do is to grab it by the, the left-hand edge and move it up onto the bar and let it go, and you'll see that it snaps into the bar. This is really helpful so that if you've got tools that you use a lot, then you can make them available all the time. You may not like to have them right there in that place, so you can move them to other places on the screen. If you'd like to take these tools and you'd like to put them on the bottom of the screen, you can click and drag them down to the bottom and let them go, and now they're on the bottom of the screen. If you don't like them on the bottom, then you can move them off to the side. So simply click right there and drag it off to the side and it will snap into place. So if I'd like to add other items to that toolbar on the side, I can right click over there. I can turn on my advanced editing, for instance, there it is. And I can just drag it into that bar. I could make multiple columns like I've got there, or I could have them try to stack on top of each other. In this case, they're kind of tight and so they'll end up taking up too much space. So we'll end up with two columns, but I could take some and I could put them on the bottom. So I really can make Acrobat my own Acrobat. Once I've got Acrobat set up the way that I like it, then Acrobat will be this way until I make changes. I could also reset it to default behaviors simply by right-clicking and saying reset to toolbars. And now everything goes back to the way it was. So the toolbars help us to navigate around. They help us to interact with the PDF and we can adjust them the way that we want them to be. Over off to the left-hand side, you'll see that there's another area and this is our navigation panel. So our panels over here are contextual. They'll appear and disappear depending on the content that's in the PDF. This particular PDF happens to have some features in it that we'll look at in detail about how to create them. But for now, you'll notice that we see down at the bottom, there's the commenting panel. You'll also see that there's the pages panel at the top of the screen and that there's the uh, bookmarks panel. To use any of these panels, if you simply click on the panel, it will open up and now you can see that we have the Pages panel showing there. If you grab the scroll bar and scroll down, you can see that we have a number of pages inside the PDF. They all show up, it's very nice. If we have bookmarks, then simply click on the bookmarks panel and you can see that the bookmarks reveal themselves in the document. Very nice. So these panels over on the side allow us to turn on and turn off different features to be able to see different aspects of the PDF that may not be apparent when we're looking at the PDF by itself. To make them go away, simply Click on them once and they'll go away. As I said before, you can enable or disable any one of these things simply by right-clicking or control-clicking, and then you can pick the one that you want to see. So if I'd like to see the articles, I can turn that on, and then I can drag it right in and it will appear in the panel. And we'll get rid of it. There we go. So you can make Acrobat your own Acrobat simply by moving all of the elements around, not only the toolbars, but also the navigation panels and other panels off to the side. All of these items are also available from the menu. So at the top, you'll see a menu bar, and under View, you'll see that you have, for instance, the toolbars. And that same right-click menu that we saw before is there in the toolbars and also under the navigation panels. You can reset the navigation panel simply by pulling down Reset Panels.